Israel has been experiencing a massive construction boom that has been transforming its skyline with towering buildings. While the Middle East is renowned for construction, Israel is fast becoming a global hub for innovation, attracting startups and tech giants like Microsoft. The country is witnessing a flurry of construction activity across its major cities, including Jerusalem, Haifa, and Beersheba. This has been fueled by the country's economic growth, population increase, and a shortage of housing, which has led to rising demand for construction. As the population grows and demand for infrastructure increases, the construction industry has had to adapt quickly to keep up. Fortunately, technology has been leading the way, allowing construction in Israel to gather serious speed. If you've been to Tel Aviv in the last few years, you've likely seen the half-built high-rises that have become a nationwide trend. Across Israel, cranes have become a ubiquitous sight as the country experiences a surge in construction. The reason for this flurry of activity is clear. Between July 2021 and June 2022, over 72,000 homes began construction, the highest number since the 1990s when there was a wave of immigration from the former Soviet Union. Three decades later, the reasons for this construction push remain similar. Israel's population is growing rapidly, creating a demand for more homes and the infrastructure to support them. The need for housing is especially pronounced in major cities like Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, and Haifa, where high demand has led to a shortage of affordable housing. To address this shortage, the Israeli government has implemented a range of policies designed to incentivize new construction and streamline the planning and approval processes for development projects. For example, the government has offered tax breaks and other financial incentives to developers who build affordable housing. By the end of 2022, the country's population had increased by 2 million, reaching a total of almost 9.7 million residents in just over a decade. Given limited space in the main cities, Many new housing units are being developed as high-rises. While Israel currently has fewer skyscrapers than some other countries in the region, that is set to change with the approval of a new building by the Tel Aviv Local Planning and Building Committee. The Azrili Group has been given the green light to construct a tower that will soar 350 meters into the sky, with 91 floors. This impressive structure is expected to become the second tallest in the country breaking existing height records by a significant margin. The upcoming 91-story tower, nicknamed the Spiral Tower, will be a new addition to the iconic Azrili Center Complex in Tel Aviv, which already boasts the renowned Circle Square and Triangle Towers. The tower will be erected on the site of the former by Yediath Aronoth Building, and its construction is anticipated to last around four years. Upon completion, the Spiral Tower will soar to a height of 350 meters, making it around 100 meters taller than the current tallest building in Israel, the Azrili Sarona Tower, which stands at 238 meters. The design of the spiral tower was developed by Cohn Peterson Fox Associates, a renowned U.S. architecture firm that has worked on some of the world's tallest buildings, including the 555-meter Latte World Tower in Seoul, South Korea and the 435-meter-1 Vanderbilt Tower in Manhattan. Israeli firms Moshe Zur Architects and Eli Atiyah Architects also contributed to the project's planning. Azrili Group initially announced plans to construct the Spiral Tower in December 2018, with an estimated cost of NIS $2.5 billion and a projected construction timeline of six to seven years. According to Dana Azrili, chairperson of Azrili Group, the Spiral Tower's design reflects the company's innovative and bold approach to each new project that redefines Tel Aviv's skyline. The tower will cover an area of 150,000 square meters, which is the same as the combined area of the three existing towers in the Azrili Center complex. The tower's base will include commercial floors, while the lower half will consist of office floors. The upper half of the tower will house 171 rental residential units, and the top will feature a hotel with approximately 250 rooms. The 90th and 91st floors will offer an open-air restaurant and bar with a panoramic view of the city. Additionally, the tower's base will feature a new wing and entry plaza for the Azrili Mall, making it the largest shopping center in Israel with over 400 stores. The spiral tower of the Azrili Center will include an observation deck, which is expected to be one of the most noteworthy features of the building. It will offer stunning panoramic views of Tel Aviv and the surrounding area and will be open to the public, drawing tourists from across the globe. In April, Rapid, a fintech firm, announced that it had leased seven floors within the tower. 
The spiral tower of the Azrili Center will have a direct connection to the Shal Haimlek light rail station via the underground level of the mall. This connection will enable visitors to have direct access to the expanded Azrili Center. The tower's site will have six underground parking levels and an additional commercial floor below ground. Once completed, the Azrili Spiral Tower will become Israel's second tallest building. However, a 400-meter tower, the Bianarim Tower, is currently under construction near the Israel Diamond Exchange the Bursa, on Munikim Begin Road in Tel Aviv, which will surpass the height of the Azrili Spiral Tower. The Bian Aram Tower's construction is expected to be completed in 2025. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Build Bright, for more inspiring content like this. Thank you for watching.